Margot from the Just Living Life YouTube channel. Um, I just wanted to say that I, I wanted to touch base with y'all because honestly I haven't made any kind of video for my weight loss journey in either three or four weeks. And um, the truth is I haven't had much of a... One, a desire to be ex exercise and to get, you know, busy. It, there's this desire to get healthy and to lose weight and to be better. But we've been busy and it's no excuse because I know there's people that are just as busy as us and busier. <laughs> and I just haven't. My, the scale weight for me has bounced around between 206 and 212 for the last four weeks. We have been on vacation to Tennessee. Uh, we had a good time there. We uh, went down to both Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. And I think the highlight for us was a zoo that we went to just out of... Uh, Sevierville or Severville, however you pronounce it, in Tennessee, and it was so much fun. We could have spent so much more time there, but I took tons of pictures there, and uh, it rained most of the time we were there, but we needed the break just to get away. Uh, then we've been to Ohio twice. Uh, the first time we went up there and back in the same day and it was exhausting the second time we went up on this past Monday and came home on Tuesday and brought home my hubby's baby his new his new big boy toy as I call it but it's gonna be his uh, big boy money maker <laughs> uh, and it is a ton and a half or two ton dump truck it rides good. It is absolutely an amazing truck so far. And we even <laughs> drove it to uh, the local dollar store because our pickup up truck just decided it didn't want to work right. <clears throat> so other than that, uh, the garden wise, the garden starting to dwindle away. I uh, pulled out some of my garden plants. And I'll be doing videos showing you how I set up my back porch. Um, on the back porch, I'm going to be setting up all the plants, including my herbs that I'm going to be putting in hanging baskets. Uh, and putting lights up for the plants that are going to be back there. Because, of course, as wintertime comes, we have less and less light. I did get rid of my rabbits. And we have gotten rid of all the quail and the chickens. All we have left are two of our ducks. For some reason, out of the blue, our female duck just died. Um, there was, I guess it's just one of those things that happens. I mean, plenty of water, plenty of food. And she just, and she wasn't egg laying age yet. So I know she, it wasn't because she was, uh, she, it's not because she had an egg stuck. And she was healthy. And she was a boss. <laughs> and poor thing, I mean, I hated it. My grandson, it really tore him up that that happened. Uh, and health-wise, I'm still, I have my days just like anybody else. Being human really bite sometimes <laughs> and we have our cravings and we fight our cravings you know and I've been doing good but it's just I think it's because I really need to work out more and I need to stay more focused on eating within a certain window oh eating window and not snacking half the night because we do end up staying up late and of course 
as you can see right there, that's my elliptical. And it's over next to the wood stove behind it. I've been trying to sell it so I can get a treadmill that will sit, fold up next to the wall. Cannot get any biters for that thing at all. Been trying to sell it for a couple weeks. Anybody out there? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, yeah. <laughs> Come take it so I can get me a treadmill. It works good. It's just bulky for this little living room. And I need something that will be small enough so I can still keep it in here because our living room's already small enough. And we'll be doing a lot of stuff to try to rearrange stuff. But it's still small and that is too big for this living room for the holiday for the holidays and for any time really um other than that i see that's the thing i really haven't had a whole lot going on i've been working on my videos for the collaboration with uh britain britain farms homestead and i got most of it done and i need to finish it and then get it uploaded so Britain Farms <laughs> I'm still here I'm still working on it um almost got it done with everything that's been going on I just haven't had a chance to get to it but it's coming uh together we preserve you know um and health wise I mean my scale up and down right now I'm at 211 212 Yesterday I was at 209. I hate my scale because I never know if it's right or wrong. We should not focus on the scale. That is what I tell myself and I tell everybody else. And yet I still get up every morning and I get on scale. I think I need to put it up somewhere. So that's not my instant focus. And maybe once a week pull it out and weigh myself and see how things are going. And I believe also, I mean, I drink a lot of water. But I don't know if I've been drinking enough. And I'm um, looking into a couple different programs uh, about working out. I don't like bouncing around like a crazy person. I'm in my 50s. I don't want to do it. I've been there. I've done that. It was great then. Now, mm, not so much. My knees don't like me for it. My back don't like me for it. So... There's that. So, garden slowing down. Just about ready to come in. Weight loss stalled-ish, but I'm still working on it. I am not stopping. I am not quitting. I will hit my 150, 160 weight loss eventually. It, I've been 200 between 215 and 225 for about five six years or more i know it's not going to happen overnight but my daughter oh my god y'all really need to see her she is down to 235 235 y'all she is getting so little compared to what i'm used to and she looks good y'all i mean she looks she's looking good um, weight loss looks good on her. Yeah. I'm so proud of her, I tell you. My heart just... And my daughter-in-law, she started a new weight loss program. And she's starting to see uh, weight loss. So, the whole family. I tell you what. My husband, his legs stay skinny. He can skip a meal and lose 10 pounds, eat a whole bag of chips, gain two. Men, I think it's men and those women that are more athletic or have a higher metabolism. My metabolism bottomed out because I did it to myself. I did so many extreme diets, up and down, up and down. And gained so much weight and lost so much weight several several times and so now I'm fighting but it will happen and I will get there I know it's not gonna happen overnight and I know it's not gonna happen tomorrow but it will happen 
and it will happen for you too. Trust me, it will happen. Other news, we have started a uh, doing t-shirts and designs. I do have a graphic artist that is working on our logos for our channel and for our I'm sorry about that puppy for our channel and for t-shirts for our channel but I already have some designs up on redbubble.com and on etsy.com and I believe the name of our shops are uh See, on Redbubble is JLL-Creations, and on Etsy, um, see if I can find if it's listed here, if I can find it, um, uh, it shows me as just living life, but I do believe it's uh, also JLL Creations. Yeah, it's JLL Creations Studio. And I haven't, you know, made any sales yet, you know, because I just started in the last couple of days. But we plan on adding a lot more designs. And we will have uh, some holiday designs on there. Um... I'm learning this and it's definitely something new but what are we gonna do we gotta find something to keep that income going when the holidays I mean the holidays are coming around and junkin season is you know my husband he does firewood and junkin but we really don't want to have to at our age continue to do a lot of firewood um, other than for herself, we do it, but skipping it if possible <laughs> or as much as we can is going to be the main goal. So, other income will be good. Um, and lastly, I'm going to put my two cents out here, y'all. I think we all have a God given right. To have the freedoms that we were given with the Constitution. And we have quite a few, you know, amendments with our Constitution. But those Bill of Rights, those, is our, those are ours. They were given to us. And God gave us our first rights. And then the government, our founding fathers, gave us these rights to be able to choose for ourselves, about ourselves, as long as it's not harming others. And we're not harming anyone. I personally, yes, I had heart surgery like 12 years ago. And so I take the flu shot every year. And yes, I did get my COVID shot. Do I believe that it's some kind of stigma where they're going to be able to know uh, there's some kind of thing in me? No. What I do believe is it is a tracking system for from our governments because they know each and every person that's had a COVID shot. I don't know if they ever kept up with the flu shots, but I do believe that they are keeping up very tightly with the, the people that had COVID shots. My husband, on the other hand, has not. And I completely back him up 100%. My kids have not gotten the shot. And I don't believe that we should be forced as people of this nation with the freedoms that we were given, these inalienable rights that we're told we have, should be forced, by force, to get take medication that we don't believe. 
is either good for us or that we don't want it, no one should have the right to try to force us to do that. We're not hurting anybody. Other people are hurting us by trying to force us to, to have this when we have the right to not. <clears throat> I don't believe that anyone should have our rights taken from us and they are being taken from us a little bit at a time every time we have something big happen in our country or in the world they start slipping in these rules and regulations that we don't even realize is there and till they hit us until they're there and some of them are put in place and they're we're better off for it but something like this is taking away our rights something like this is telling us that we don't have a choice the choices that we were given from god the choices as people that we were given from our country we are now being told we're the murderers we're the ones choosing not to do something and yet we're the bad people no no we have those choices we're not taking anyone else's life by not taking a shot there are people out there that have to get flu shots there are people out there that have to get uh insulin shots if they don't take their shot they're not hurting us if they don't do it they're hurting themselves are we hurting ourselves only if we believe we're hurting ourselves and if we don't then who has the right to tell us any different than what we believe we we need to fight for our rights and we need to start standing up talking to others that are like-minded and not let the government decide what is right or wrong for us when it comes to our God-given inalienable rights. We have to stand up with each other. We have to say enough is enough. And my son is going to be one of those people that may or may not lose his job because his company is so big he will probably end up having to get the shot and they don't want it and if they want to survive financially because they they are not you know farmers they don't have any other form of income coming in so is it going to be something that they're going to be forced to do in order to survive forced by our government to me that sounds like we're leaning towards uh what is that called uh the words not that the, the what you understand they're trying to force us to do something that many people don't want to do Stand up for your rights. Stand up for each other. Stand up for the country. Okay, I'm done for now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see more of what I post. See y'all soon. Bye.